get into the timing chest, I thought what I'd do is, since the Magneto Auto Advance Unit or the fixed pinion, I'm not sure what was on there, is missing, um, I'm going to remove the Magneto and put it on the bench and measure the spark. Uh, in order to do that, I just need to remove this front cowl. And um, I did notice, actually, that one of the bolts for the mag was loose, so it should have been a sign that something wasn't quite right. But anyway, uh, and while I'm at it, I thought what I'd do is I would put the bike on the front stand as well, just to show you how that works. If you didn't already know, in addition to the main stand at the rear of the bike, the Vincent's also got two front stands as well, uh, prop stands, and um, here, located here at the front of the bike, and they're spring-loaded and they kind of swing out from side to side on both sides. And actually this unit here will drop down in just a minute and I'll show you how this also serves as a centre stand for um, working on the engine or for removing your front wheel if necessary. I'm just going to start by removing the magneto cowl. Yeah, I've got a couple of things to deal with here. Um, this Tommy bar I don't think is standard. So I will deal with that later on. I'm, I'm pretty certain it should just be a little bolt and a nut here. The other issue is this. This should be just a little bolt that fits into here and I think that is not supposed to be in there. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on if the thread has stripped but uh, that doesn't look too great and um, I'm going to need to check the thread in there. And then it's just a simple matter of removing this very attractive magneto cowl. I've always been fascinated how close that is to fender stay as well. It's just amazing. Um, the tolerance is uh, fabulous. And there we have it. Yep, we've got the KVF, not the K2F, but the KVF 50 degree magneto here. This is the oil filter underneath. And then this is the front prop stand assembly with all the uh, spring action here. I'm not sure if this is standard, but uh, like on my Triumph, my pre-unit Triumph, you can get these long magneto bolts, which actually didn't work on my Triumph, but this one has one. And I guess I should have thought that there was something not quite right with the Auto Advance when I noticed that that bolt was loose. So uh, so this is going to come off anyway, and we're going to check this magneto for a spark. Next, we're just going to simply remove this little set screw here um, that allows this unit to rotate and move the front prop stands to the rear and act as this uh, engine stand or this center stand. Uh, you'll see at the back there, there's a little pin that prevents it from rotating back too far. So these are spring loaded. There's a spring back here that goes to a pin under here that allows them to move back and forth. And so we want to pull these back as far as they go until they hit that pin, that stop. And <laughs> what I'm seeing right away is they're about an inch too tall. Um, too high, sorry, too high. Uh, so I think what's happened is these have been modified at some point, no doubt to make for a better side stand. But um, when they're like this, they're hitting the stop there, they're not touching the ground. I mean, obviously I could take the bike off the rear stand, but I just don't want to do that. I really like that rear stand for the stability that it provides. So what I'll do is I'll probably just put a little, um, a little lift, a little jack under this bike to hold it up while I start working on the, the top end of this bike. So that's a shame, but something to remember, something to be mindful of in the future.
Tightening it back up again. And so next I'm just going to turn my attention to removing this KVF magneto. We've got the long bolt here and then two nuts at the front. Should be dead straightforward actually, um, given that there's no auto advance unit fitted. And then um, again, there's no spark plugs fitted either as well. I'm not quite sure where they are, but uh, I'm going to replace all these wires anyway, these high tension leads, just in case. Yeah, that wasn't going to hold. Oh, that's, that's loose. Well, as expected, I suppose. Oh my gosh, that's loose as well. Wow. This has been a good exercise. I'm so glad I went through this. Could that have been any simpler? Gosh. Let's take a look at the oil filter while we're down here as well. Just putting the cap back on for now until I replace that oil filter. Keep it clean in there. <laughs> 